Hello again, this is Andrew and now I'm going to share some of my experience about PLC output protection here in automation industry. First of all, we need to identify what are the causes of PLC output damage. First, wrong termination. Second, overcurrent and third stored energy for long termination let's define what are the costs it might be a human error or wrong circuit diagram and my recommended solution for these situations are first uh, maybe it's better if the supervisor must check the electrical circuit before the execution of the work. Next thing here is by applying a loop check. When we say loop checking, it is the phase in instrumentation and control project where a loop is checked and corrected for logical and accurate responses for measuring element to controller and to final control element. This is an ISA definition. And last solution is yellow tagging and for those of you who are not yet familiar about yellow tagging this is how it's done first you need to put your multimeter to continuity testing mode then put the lead of your multimeter to your main disconnect and to your circuit breaker you need to check the wire here one by one you need to check the continuity of each wire and after you check, you can use a highlighter to mark the lines that you are already finished. Then after that, you can put the lead of your multimeter to the VFD and the breaker. Let's check the continuity by checking the wire one by one. And after checking the wire, you can use your highlighter. Then, let's go to the fan. After checking the wire, you can use the highlighter. Just continue until you finish checking all the wires so that you can assure that the wire is properly terminated. And that's how the yellow tagging is done. And for overcurrent, the possible costs are defective equipment or field devices and the short circuit. Solutions, preventive maintenance. By performing preventive maintenance, you can ensure that the device is still working properly. And the other solution is installing a fuse. Here in installing a fuse, it's better to lose a fuse than losing a PLC port. Next is we have the stored energy. It is caused by inductive load. An example of inductive load is incandescent lump. Solution, you can install a diode in reverse bias in parallel with the load. Okay, for, for this solution, you can watch one of my video that I created about diode protection so that you can understand how to terminate the diode here. And that's all. Thank you for watching this video. Please like my Facebook page and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.